In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to terminate an employee in Xero. Let's walk through this process step by step to ensure you can execute it smoothly and efficiently. First, you will need to log into your Xero account. Simply go to the Xero website and enter your login credentials, your email and password. Once you've entered these details, click on Login. If you have two-factor authentication set up, remember to have your verification device handy to complete the login process securely. Once inside your Xero dashboard, navigate to the payroll section. This is your hub for managing employee finances and employment details. Click on payroll and from there, you'll see various options appear. You will want to select employees, which will give you a list of all the staff members currently entered in your system. This is where you'll begin the process of ending employment for the respective employee. Find and select the employee you wish to terminate from this list. Clicking on their name will bring up their employee details. Here you're looking to click on employment within their profile. You'll find this option by scrolling through the available tabs in the employee's profile section. When you are ready to proceed, select the option labeled end employment. Now it's crucial to pay attention to the dates when ending employment, as this will affect payroll and any potential benefits the employee is entitled to. So select the appropriate end date for their employment. If you're unsure, check with your HR or legal advisor to ensure compliance with your local employment laws. Next, you need to provide a reason for the termination. This could range from resignation to retirement or perhaps redundancy. This is an essential step for maintaining accurate records. Selecting the correct reason will help you with any reporting you might need to do later on and will ensure clarity and transparency in your employee records. Once you've completed these inputs, give everything a quick review to ensure all details are correct. Double check the termination date and the reason for ending the employment to make sure they reflect the actual circumstances. Finally, click end employment to finalize the process. And there you have it, a straightforward method to terminate an employee in zero. This process ensures that everything is done correctly and all the necessary information is recorded in your system. If you find that you need to undo this action or you made an error, consult Xero's help documentation or customer support for guidance. Thank you for watching this tutorial today. Be sure to subscribe for more useful guides on managing your business operations efficiently.